，每个企业都跟我们的生命一样，我们会在生意上感到绝望、迷失，或者是太多选择。当然，我们会走到成功的道路上。每逢星期一到星期五上午十点和下午三点，我们都会邀请 Singapore Excellence Award 的得主上我们的节目，跟我们分享他们的心路里程。还有他们的成功的道路。这个节目是由 Singapore and Rich Group 荣誉呈现。前辈是我的老行家，因为我本身是土木工程系毕业的，但是很愧疚的是，我从来没有在这行业打滚过，只是短短在呃实习的时候呢，有实习大概半年左右，所以今天呢很开心，可以在这个呃长辈的身上学到很多新的东西。Hi, Mr. Lim. Hi, nice good morning. Good morning. Yeah, we mentioned that you are an expert in the building construction industry itself. I understand that you mentioned that you have been in industry for more than twenty years, right? Two decades, really. Can you share with us why the passion for building and construction industry? Well, I like basically I like this industry is because they they give you a satisfaction when you complete a certain project,、uh -huh. basically on time and within their budget and within the schedule. That is feel a kind of achievement for you. Guess what? You know, recently I was talking to a friend of mine, and this friend of mine was just sharing with me that when he was choosing for his engineering faculty, then this particular lecturer, built civil engineering lecturer, went on stage to share that hey, you know, most of engineering projects after you've done, either it's been obsolete, it's over, it's being phased out, and then that's all. That's gone in the history itself. Only civil engineering, when you build a project, you will always be there. If not, you will be there for a long, long time itself. So when next time you become a grandfather, you bring your grandchildren and say, "Hey, grandson, this is your project done by, done by grandpa or、right. grandma." And my friend just because of that went to this industry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Were you the case also? Well, is yes, I can <laughs> say so because it can show to the young people this is how your previous people done for the country、yes. economy. All this, this is how you help your customer to achieve their. Uh, objective of this,、Correct. yeah, it's a kind of achievement there. We have been talking about why building. We have yet to share with us which company and which particular part of civil engineering you are from. Can you share with us more about Doka Group? Okay, uh, I currently the managing director for Doka uh from the private Singapore office. Uh, we are uh under Doka Group. Our headquarter is in、uh, Austria, Amsterdam. Uh, we have about globally about five thousand six hundred staff overall, and we have about one hundred and sixty branches all over the world, and、uh, it's about seventy within the seventy country about that. Yeah. Wow, that is a really a big achievement, and our consider Doka Group is really a huge, or a big player in this industry. Right. So can you share with us more about Doka Group business in Singapore per se? Well, in Singapore, we basically provide a system framework.、Mm -hmm. We do a design, and we supply our system framework for our customer in Singapore. Basically,、uh, to the main contractor or subcontractor, they are mainly our customer、okay. in the industry. Now, I believe a lot of our viewers must be wondering a lot of question mark. Ta 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 ta. Okay, what is system framework? Because I believe that those who are not in this industry will be clueless about this system network framework. <laughs> Yes,、uh, our system form basically is to help the、uh, our contractor or customer to have a、uh, is like a、uh, saving a lot of time、uh, in terms of a、uh, construction matter,、mm. uh, in terms of saving a、uh, cost and saving your resources.、Sure. Yeah, this is one of the key area, and also saving time for construction time. That you, you as you know in Singapore, all the project construction period now are getting shorter. Yes. So this is one of the area that we can help our customer to improve that. Oh, we should、yeah. put in this way. 
the demand for foreign workers, construction workers is high, but the supply is getting lesser and lesser. Right. I agree <laughs> so system framework, I can put in layman terms, it's just uh, when we are building the con- building itself, we instead of, you know in the past, uh, we have bricks by bricks by bricks by bricks itself. But now we have, you, have, you do our system, a mold, you feel the concrete and then you just deliver on site. Can you just say more or less something like that? Well, actually our system form, but we, can, uh, we have a design for our customer mm-hmm. based on the uh, structure drawing requirement. Uh, we come up with a proposal how to set our form work so the contractor, they can come out how many manpower, we can train them how to erect the form work. Oh, okay. In terms of that, they can uh, save time when they erect on site. Sure. Based on your expertise and experience in this area, with such a system framework being introduced, how much manpower and how much costing can a company or a project save? Well, actually, it depends on the, uh, how complicated uh, the design is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can uh, save. As you know, the uh, inner structure cost for the project, it may come up about 40% overall mm-hmm. for the project cost. Yes. So, this is one of the key uh, main costs to the customer and to our contractor. Sure. So, in terms of if they can have some saving in this uh, former system, that means they can save a lot in, uh, in their budget for mm-hmm. the cost. Right. So, in terms of saving, what is depend on from project project. Wow. So, Doka Group is um, present in so many countries and in so many projects. Can you share with us any current projects in Singapore? Well, one of the projects currently we supply our system form is to uh, Hyundai Engineering and Construction Company. Uh, the project was uh, along the Nikko Highway. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is the, one of the prestigious projects for us uh, in Singapore. Can I consider that site? Because this building itself is a preserved site. It's a heritage building, correct? Right. So when it comes to such a building, you mentioned just now, this project is a very prestige project also. But I also understand this is a heritage building. Right. When it comes to a building project like this, would there be complication? You know, as in that because you have to maintain the structure. At the same time, you also have to help the customer to achieve the result also. Uh, at the beginning of this project, we uh, work with the customer mm-hmm. to come out and design uh, what are the uh, areas that they need our system framework to support yeah. their project. So. Actually, we are not touched on all these uh, heritage or all the existing building there. Mm-hmm. We are mainly support our customer on their building uh, new structure. Oh, okay. So not so much on the existing building no, per no. se. It's yes. on all the new buildings, right? right? We supply uh, some uh, cold wall, some cold wall system framework. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and also some protection screen for them to set up for a project. Like this. Wow. Yeah. I believe that a lot of our listener, listeners now, they must be continue to be clueless about that. <laughs> but not an issue because when it comes to this area building per se, correct, it's a very complicated industry. Right. Complicated as in the because you need a lot of different um, people from different knowledge and traits to come together to form it. And we have in us in studio today is Mr. Lim from uh, Doka Group itself who has been in the industry for more than 20 years. Prior to that, Mr. Lee had been sharing with us um, the recording. Mr. Lee had told me that he had been in that industry for 20 years. Right. However, before that, he had been into different trades, including IT. Right. So, Mr. Lee, my question to you is just very simple. Why eventually it settled for building? As you mentioned, you, said, oh, because you saw the satisfaction to help the customer achieve things along the way. I have no idea about you, but when during my time when I was going for my qualification, then I was saying that because I was ulu <laughs> kerzong, okay. I did not do so well in my um in my studies then, so I was not I do not have much options. <laughs> uh, can say already is that uh I was involved in the in uh in IT industry, is uh due to my past experience in the construction industry. Mm-hmm. So I'm helping the company. Basically, it's linked to my project management experience and skill. Sure. So in terms of IT, because the IT company is something they need also a project management skill people to help them on running the project. Definitely. So that is one of the uh, area that uh, my experience met their requirement. Uh, yeah. and also the expertise you have also, and which is why you are being highly sought after to to manage the projects and right. the company itself. Right. I also understand that you know behind every industrial, every behind every profession that we are in, there must be a motivating factor that motivates you along the way. So, can you share with us what is the motivating factor for you? Well, obviously, it's uh, as in a project business. Uh, when you 
complete the project on time and help the customer to achieve their target. This is one of the achievements that yes. will give you a satisfaction for you and for the company as well as to the customer. Uh, this is one of the areas that motivate me to keep going <laughs> for the business. <laughs> I totally understand that. Yeah. Other than that, um, can you share about uh, during your school days, will you be so will you so precise that you definitely want to get involved in the building industry? I have no idea about you. But for me, when I was in my um, secondary tree at the age of 15, I know that I want to be a broadcaster. So I worked towards it. <laughs> now, prior to that, I, was, I love to play with Lego bricks and stuff like right. that. So I do have this fantasy that I want to go in the building industry. But eventually, I decided that when I was about to choose my career, I decided to leave it out because I know that I cannot dress nice, nice. <laughs> yes, uh, I like this industry it's because uh, I was informed by some of my family members and also some of my friends. Oh. Some of them are studying in the architecture, okay. and some in building construction. So I remember when I visit the site, project site in my young stage, uh, I feel like, wow, there's a quite an uh, exciting job. <laughs> Look okay. at that. But I never feel about you have to work late, no, in the dirty, muddy site area. Oh. That was not taken into consideration. <laughs> Only when you graduate, you finish your study, and then you enter the, this industry, you have feel, wow. This Come is on, how we live. Job attachment then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> job attachment was sending to sites also. <laughs> yes, but I have a job attachment in, basically in UK. Uh, ah. So in UK, there's a job attachment for me during my study time, but the uh, working environment is uh, much different from in Asia. Uh, oh, which means that in UK environment, working environment is very different from Asia working environment in the construction industry. Well, so. in terms of uh, working hour. Uh -huh. You don't even work overtime. This How one. can that be possible in building industry? <laughs> that was 20 years ago when I, when I attached to this the training. To this it, company for attach, on job training? Yeah, there's a small project, but okay. work with the, you can say, work with the foreigner, yes. or European. The working style is totally different from you working with in Asia company. Oh, okay, Mr. Lim, pardon me because my knowledge is only um, constrained to the Asian context only. So you brought up something very interesting as in European context itself. Can you share with us 20 years ago, because I understand that you mentioned 20 years ago itself, right. what was the main difference if you have observed from your personal observation between the Westerners when it comes to the building industry and we, especially the Chinese and Asians in context per se? Uh, what I can say here is that uh, even in the past 20 years, uh, 20 years ago, I see the way they manage is quite systematic. Mm. Is uh, more organized, right? And also a lot of paperwork and documentation. <laughs> you need to properly record all this sure. and procedure, come up with a schedule, planning for the whole project. Mm -hmm. But if you come to Asia for certain area, not all, for certain area, and you can see the planning why is not really organized. <laughs> and record paperwork is one of the area that I can say a lot of site people ignore in this area. Yes. Yeah, this is one of the key area, but compared to today, in Asia we have improved a lot in this area. Many young people understand the requirement of this uh, area, like documentation and how to proper plan for a project and time schedule. So this is one of the area that have been improved for the last ten years. Oh, yeah, that's okay. what I see. Yeah. So, being the pioneer vector in the building industry for so long. What do you envision the industry to going to be like in the next maybe five, ten years? Well, I will say with all the uh, cost, one coming of the areas, <laughs> cost coming out, <laughs> constraint of the resources, it will be uh, tough for the industry also. Because, you know, in construction industry, we need a manpower yes, to manage and handle. Yeah, this is one of the areas that I can see a lot of uh, our customers struggle to fight for how to improve the current situation yes. and for the next five, ten years. I totally agree with that yes. also because this is written because we can all see from ourselves that building industry is heavily dependent on right. foreign workers and to work on the buildings per se itself. But given that, does that give Dokkan Group an opportunity to come up with more uh, products that can really help the, the industry? Yes, in fact our product already uh, in the industry, our company will be all over, I can say, close to more than, it's close to 100 years, I can say Correct. that, from uh, in the past. And our pro system framework, they can help the customer first to reduce their uh, cost, 
improve the cycle time and it is one area is the safety. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because in the construction industry safety is one of priority Definitely. for many people. And so within the uh, constraint of the resources with our system we can uh, minimize the use of our manpower to set up our homework. Mm-hmm. They will be help the customer in terms of improving their cost and as I said before, the cycle time and all these things. Yeah. So Mr. Lee, as a managing director of Doka Singapore itself, so do you have any visions or goals for you yourself and your team since you take power, since you come into position? Well, I would say we are trying to improve our product quality. Mm-hmm. We still continue to support our customer and we introduce a different type of system framework and uh, to our customer to help them to solve uh, the complicated <laughs> structure design. And uh, we are trying to also to continue to serve them. We, our services start from the uh, project development up to end of the project. Sure. So it's the whole cycle for the whole project to support our customer. So all this will help the customer in terms of cost saving, time saving, and safety right into consideration. Yes. It's, it's really one not an easy job. You put on so many hats. <laughs> you put on the hats of quality surveyor, site supervisor, right. project manager, yeah. <laughs> so many, you know. In the, even site safety also. Right, we need to consider. Yeah, that. we yes. have to take into consideration of all this aspect itself. So, when you received that, Doka Group had received um, this excellent award itself, what came to mind then? I think this award will help us uh, to improve our status in uh, terms of business, especially in the construction industry. And uh, with this award, we can help our company to promote our, our expertise in this area. Sure. Yeah. Harry, because when I, when I look at you, it just reminds me of someone who has been you know, so rich of experiences. It's just like a well waiting to be dug so that the wealth of knowledge can be just spoiled and just share with us. <laughs> Yeah. Last but not least, yeah, do you have any advice to share with our listeners or viewers who might be keen, you know, to explore the building industry? Because you're a factor in this in this industry itself. Do you have any form of advice for our listeners or viewers when it comes to choosing building as a business or even as a career path? Uh what I can say if we are for young people, mm. if you are want to enter this industry, you must be prepared. What overall your career will look like in the mm. near future but what I can say this is a very exciting industry yeah. very competitive <laughs> you can learn a lot from the uh, trade and from yeah. different uh, business people correct yeah but one thing you had to work hard <laughs> this one work is work hard ah, you must yes. prepare to work hard correct correct I must say that the working hours are very <laughs> irregular <laughs> and you're supposed to work 7 days a week <laughs> correct or maybe right. 5 6 days a week wow yes <laughs> Sometimes you may even have to work seven days a week. Yeah, when, yeah. Pro- when project le- deadlines are near, and in our industry, project deadlines are very wow. common itself. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mr. Lee, for coming on our program today. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Thank you. So, today, I'm very happy to have you here to Doka Singapore, the founder of Mr. Lee Lin 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 只要你肯学习的话，你一定会有春天的来临的。刚才林先生也说过了，如果你准备要进入这个建筑行业的话，它你可以学到很多东西，然后你会跟很多企业家在一起，因为我们有很多的知识可以跟你们分享。不过重点来了，你要准备的就是努力，因为只有努力的情况下呢，才可以达到更高更远的地方。你好，我是今天的主持人，我是阿宝，我们下次再见。嗯